topped on R Link X3 versus X7 versus J2534, the ultimate battle of diagnostic power. Hey everyone, I'm Hussein, and welcome back to Bob G Motors, your go to destination for everything about automobile diagnostics, ECU programming, and the latest tools that make a mechanic's life easier. Before we dive in, a quick but important note. This video is purely for educational and informational purposes. Everything we share here is to help technicians, learners, and automotive enthusiasts understand tools better and use them responsibly. All brand names and logos belong to their respective owners. And please, always follow your manufacturer's recommendations and local regulations while working on vehicles. Now, here's something that every technician has been curious about lately, the Top Don R-Link series. We've got three powerful contenders on the table today. R-Link X3, R-Link X7, and R-Link J2534. But which one should you invest in? Which model gives you the best value, the widest compatibility, and the most stable performance? Stick around till the end, because I'll share my final verdict and one insider tip that might surprise even experienced techs. So let's kick things off with the core comparison, hardware and performance. When it comes to processing power, the R-Link X3 uses an ARM Cortex M4F 32-bit processor, while both the R-Link X7 and R-Link J2534 feature a newer and more capable ARM Cortex M3332 bit chip. This means both X7 and J2534 offer slightly better data handling, smoother communication with OEM software, and improved stability during ECU programming sessions. Storage-wise, all three models are equally matched with 512 kilobytes flash memory and 256 kilobytes SRAM, which is enough for handling high-speed communication protocols. Interestingly, none of these models come with a built-in battery. Instead, they all draw power directly from the vehicle's OBD port, operating smoothly within a 9 to 18 volt input range. There's no onboard operating system or screen, keeping the devices lightweight and portable. Speaking of build and design, the R-Link X3 weighs about 141 grams, making it slightly heavier than the X7 and J2534, both of which weigh just 90 grams. The X3 is compact, measuring 92 by 48 by 24 millimeters, while the other two are a bit larger at 114.7 by 51 by 29 millimeters. But here's where things get interesting, the indicator lights. The X3 comes with two LEDs, one for power and another for communication. Meanwhile, the X7 and J2534 each include three indicators, power, vehicle connection, and overall communication, giving users a clearer real-time status while diagnosing. In terms of connectivity, all three use a USB Type-C interface, ensuring fast, stable, and modern wired communication with PCs. None of them include Wi-Fi or a separate network processor. These are pure, professional-grade J2534 interfaces designed to prioritize wired stability over wireless convenience. Now, let's move to the heart of the matter, protocol and OEM compatibility. All three devices support major automotive protocols like J2534, DPDU, CANFD, DUIP, and KWP2000, meaning they can communicate effectively with a wide range of modern and older vehicles. But when we start talking about OEM diagnostics, the R-Link X7 and R-Link J2534 begin to show their real power. For instance, the R-Link X3 is built mainly for U.S. car brands. That means it handles GM, Ford, and Chrysler beautifully, supporting Ford's first scan, FDRS, FJDS, and GM's GDS2, TLC, and DPS systems. It even works well with Chrysler's YTEC 2 platform. But if you step outside American territory, its compatibility becomes limited. The R-Link X7, on the other hand, opens up a world of possibilities. It supports major European and Asian brands, including Mercedes-Benz, Zentry Pass-Through, BMW, ISDA Plus Pass-Through, Porsche, Piwis, Toyota Techstream, Honda HDS, Subaru SSM4, Nissan Consult 3, Mitsubishi MUT 3, Hyundai and Kia platforms, and even Volkswagen ODISS and ODISC systems. 
That's a massive list. For a multi-brand workshop, that kind of versatility is a game changer. Now, the R-Link J2534 sits right between the X3 and the X7. It supports nearly all the same brands as the X7, except a few, such as Porsche and Jaguar Land Rover's Pathfinder system. However, it's known for being extremely stable with popular OEM pass-through applications like Zentry for Mercedes, ISDA Plus 4 BMW, GDS2 for GM, and ODIS for Volkswagen and Audi. When we talk about software licenses, here's the order of power. R-Link X7, R-Link J2534, R-Link X3. The X7 gives you the widest OEM coverage but comes with only one brand driver license of your choice when you buy it, meaning you might need to purchase extra licenses for additional brands later. The R-Link J2534, on the other hand, comes fully loaded, includes all software drivers, making it a more convenient out-of-the-box solution for multi-brand work. And finally, the R-Link X3 keeps things simple and affordable, focusing primarily on American makes and offering just what you need for domestic diagnostics. As for updates and maintenance, both the R-Link X7 and R-Link J2534 allow driver and firmware updates through the R-Link platform. The X3 uses the same platform, but its driver management system is a bit more limited compared to the higher-end models. Now, what do you get in the box? The R-Link X3 includes the main device, a user manual, an OEM software installation guide, and a warranty card. Both the R-Link X7 and R-Link J2534 come in a more premium package, including the J2534 interface, an OBD extension cable, a 2-meter USB Type-C cable, a quick user guide, and even a sturdy carrying case. Every model includes a one-year warranty, showing Topton's confidence in its hardware quality. So, let's break it all down in simple terms. If your focus is American vehicles like GM, Ford, and Chrysler, and you want a cost-effective, reliable J2534 tool, the R-Link X3 will do the job perfectly. If you're working with multiple global brands, and need a device that's compatible with nearly every major OEM system. Then, R-Link X7 is the top-tier choice, even though you'll need to manage driver licenses per brand. And if you're looking for a balanced middle ground, something with great stability, full driver support, and strong pass-through compatibility, the R-Link J2534 might be your sweet spot. So here's the big question. If you had to choose just one, which R-Link would you trust in your workshop? Think about the types of vehicles you service most often, your budget, and how much flexibility you need with OEM software. Now, before I share my closing thoughts, here's something interesting. Even though R-Link X7 is newer, many professionals prefer the J2534 because it includes all driver licenses out of the box, a small detail that saves both time and money during setup. All right, let's wrap this up. Between the three, my personal pick would be the top-down R-Link J. 2534. It strikes the perfect balance between versatility and practicality, and its all-in-one software support makes it a workshop favorite. But if you're working internationally or handling European cars daily, then the R-Link X7 might be worth the investment for its advanced OEM coverage. So what's your opinion? Which one would you choose? The budget-friendly X3, the Balance J2534, or the feature-packed X7? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Before you go, here's a fun fact. The J2534 standard was first introduced by SAE back in 2002 to unify how vehicle ECUs communicate with external tools. Without it, today's universal diagnostic tools wouldn't even exist. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Let's hit a community target of 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments on this video. Your engagement helps Bobji Motors grow and reach more automotive enthusiasts worldwide. Don't forget to subscribe, hype this video, and share it with fellow technicians who'd find it useful. Until next time, this is Hussein signing off from Bobji Motors. Keep learning, keep exploring, and as always, happy diagnosing.